Naman, hello, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Tuner Pro to diagnose your OBD1 ALDL vehicle. We are going to use my 1989 Cadillac Brown with the it's a base model 5.7 liter V8. Uh, it's the Oldsmobile 307 Vin Y LV2. You will find this kind of engine set up in most cars, most General Motors cars from uh, the 80s and uh, all the way up to 1990. Uh, yeah, they were used in Oldsmobile, Cadillacs, Chevys, and uh, probably more vehicles. And even though this is in fact a carbureted vehicle, and in fact one of the last carbureted vehicles made in America, or in the world, I suppose, it uses a computer. And uh, behind that little cover there, it used to be there, uh, you will find the PROM for the computer. And it's basically a little chip containing information about uh, this particular vehicle. The computer controls uh, mixture and uh, spark advance, as well as uh, knock retardation. The blue connector there is uh, for the mixture control solenoid, which is located inside the carburetor. And uh, down here we have uh, a throttle position sensor connector. The mixture control solenoid then controls the primary metering rods of the carb, which are located down there. And they move up and down regarding to which kind of mixture the computer wants to make. If they move up, it means that the computer is trying to enrich in the mixture. And if they move down, it means that the computer is trying to lean out the mixture. And they do this several times a second. They can move up and down as fast as uh, 10 hertz or uh, 10 times a second. This of course means that uh, adjusting a computer control carburetor is different than uh, adjusting a uh, regular carb that uses uh, screws, mixer screws, to uh, fine-tune uh, the mixture. And in a regular carburetor you fine-tune the mixture until the engine runs uh, as wished and then uh, it stays there. While here the computer can change the mixture uh, regarding to driving conditions. However, keep in mind that there are actually mixer screws on this carb. One there and one there. One for each primary barrel. Uh, they do not control mixer while driving as such, but the funny thing is uh, that they do control mixer up to one third of the throttle. That means that if they are wrongly adjusted, they can actually make, uh, make the computer uh, trigger a error code mostly code 44 or code 45, which would translate to uh, O2 voltage low or high, uh, basically uh, too rich or too lean of mixture. And this of course works great when it's uh, in good condition and uh, well taken care of. Uh, it is a really solid system, but it has got uh, a bad reputation from uh, basically people who uh, don't fully understand the system. Now this system is uh, quite notorious for uh, engine trouble and uh, most vehicles of this time that's not been uh, ordinary or uh, I guess you could say uh, properly maintained will have a check engine light of some sort and it's basically because uh, it, even though it's old, it's, it is a kind of complex system and uh, it requires everything to be within the limits of the computer to work properly. Now I am going to show how to properly set up Tuner Pro for diagnostics and uh, to monitor the sensors of the vehicle uh, live. So into my computer I put the uh, Red Devil River disk containing a uh, various amount of programs and definition files. I will go to Tuner Pro RT USB and here inside here you will find uh, a lot of definition files for various amount of vehicles and we are looking for uh, 1988 to 1990 uh, 5.0 LV2 CCC it stands for computer controlled carburetor and here we have it I copy that one and paste it onto my desktop I'm going to start up Tuner Pro. Uh, Tuner Pro RT is actually free to use. Uh, you can register it to uh, get rid of this 10 second countdown box. 
it will make your launch faster and I believe you get some extra features too. So what we what you will do is to go to acquisition and low definition and then find your uh, look at your file, your ADX file. And you actually don't have to use a binary file or an XDF file for uh, uh, simple monitoring. So this is all you have to do. And here we have opened up our dash by clicking this one, the red button. So here in our dash uh, you can put in your uh, the values you want to see, like coolant temperature, uh, vehicle speed, I used to have uh, map voltage, uh, TPS voltage, maybe uh, O2 voltage, and uh, we could have uh, battery voltage. So when you connect Tuner Pro to your vehicle, uh, this will actually show you uh, live readings from uh, all these sensors. And you can, uh, you can open up even more uh, tabs, like the data tab. Here you have everything, uh, like every parameter that's uh, recorded from the vehicle, uh, including the uh, much wanted error codes. Then to connect Tuner Pro to your vehicle, you connect a cable to the uh, ALDL port and press the connect button here. However, we are on my desktop right now and uh, we are gonna go out to the vehicle with a laptop. So here we are outside with the Cadillac and we are now going to hook up Tuner Pro. If you do not happen to have an ALDL cable uh, that you can use together with Tuner Pro, there are one other way that you can uh, diagnose your vehicle. And that is to make your check engine light flash the codes, the stored codes for you. And I'll show you how you can do that. It's relatively simple. Now you have to locate your ALDL connector and it's usually somewhere here under the dash and uh, most often here to the right of the ashtray. What you want to do is to ground the A port with the B port. The A port is the one in the top right corner and the B port is the one to the left of it. And you need nothing fancy to do that. One wire will do, or a paper clip. What you want to do next is to take your keys and put them inside your ignition lock and turn them two steps. One and two. Until you get electrical power. Then you will notice that your check engine light is starting to flash. These flashes are the stored codes being read out. One flash means a number one, and two flashes in a sequence means a number two, and so on. This code that is stored is a code number 12, and that basically means that the engine is not turning over. The ticking noise you can hear, that's actually the mixer control solenoid pulsing the primary metering rods up and down at 10 Hz. And the computer does this uh, while in diagnostic mode. It is now time to connect the ALDL cable to the vehicle. There we go. The cable is then connected via USB to the computer. In some cases, or in most cases, you have to assign the program to which USB port you are using on the computer. So you go to Tools in Tuner Pro, Preferences, and then you go to Data, and you assign the port here. And it's a standard serial in COM3. You can play around a little bit to find out which port is which. And now you do as you did before. Turn the ignition key two steps until you get electrical power. You'll see the check engine light. It's uh, actually pulsing now instead. And as you see, you instantly get the direct readings from the sensors. So what we are going to do now is to turn the engine on. Give it a few pumps. This is a cold start. I've been started for two days. So with the engine running, you get the values updated live.
and uh, with the vehicle in motion you get a live speed reading If you press this yellow button here, show data list, it will show you the data list, obviously. Now this list is very handy. Here all the values from all the sensors will be shown at once. And the much wanted error codes. And since we just started, you can see that the engine is in open loop. With Tunapro you can actually adjust your vehicle uh, to run properly by looking at the actual values. So you totally eliminate the need for hooking up external gators like digital voltmeters and stuff.